Alright, David Harry here, and in this video I'm going to do an unboxing of an Insta360 1R system. So basically I'm going to be doing something like a million years after everybody else has already done it. Now what it is basically, one of my bezies, Trelly or Gaza, you've seen him in a couple of my videos and stuff. What it is, Trelly has given me his one that he's just bought to do a quick unboxing with, because also what Gary's going to do is let me use it as well to do some comparative stuff as well i'll discuss that as i start doing the unboxing um, in fact on that point as well what it is gaz also give me his sony a7 mark iii when he first got that so if you have a look here and in the descriptions below that'll take you to a video where there's an unboxing of gary's a7 mark iii now to be honest that that video is actually a very very good video it's a really good unboxing one that it's on <laughs> this one however is just going to be me talking because the a7 video i did it like it was a promo so there's no dialogue it's all cut to music and stuff this however is just going to be me rabbiting on like a mad person but anyway thank you very much trelly once again for giving me something to unbox and gary will be giving us a hand with some of this stuff anyway anyway but check this out Ta -da! there's the box now just before i get this camera and turn it over and open the box up and just talk about things let me try something here watch this so i'm looking at the screen right there <laughs> yeah who needs a zv1 <laughs> now just before i crack into this any music that you hear in the background of this video is also done by Gaz, along with his long-term music partner, John, who are professionally known as The Long Rays. There will be links in the descriptions, and I think maybe a URL may pop up here and stuff, where you can go and check out Gaz's music with John as The Long Rays. Anywho, I'm going to get into this, and yeah, I'm just going to talk as I do it, because, you know, no one's kind of like, you know, no one's going to come here for an unboxing video about a product that they've already seen a billion times before so this really is just a thing for anybody who kind of watches my channel and is into any of my videos do you know what I mean and the reason why it might be good for them to watch is because as you're probably going to hazard a guess here this thing's going to be getting compared to a whole bunch of other things <laughs> so hopefully that ZV1 as well I should have my hands on that soon yeah, hold on wait there let me not talk just a second hold on let me just concentrate here hold on yeah very seriously actually if anyone who does stuff like this defo when you got something sharp in your hand like that don't fool around just just give us a sec hold on and i'm being dead serious when i say this hold on a sec and the reason is right it's dead serious <laughs> I, I think I might have pointed this out on something before. I don't know if I can get focus here. But this thumb here has got a massive big scar right across the, the whole length of it there, across it sideways, where I went through it with a Stanley knife. <laughs> that was actually cutting a carpet, laying carpet in a studio I was doing, and went pfft, right across my thumb, which is why you should always be really careful with blades and stuff. Okay, so let me just get that off there. Right, like I say, you know, this is just going to be mega relaxed and me just rabbiting on because everyone's seen all this before. But I'll use this as an opportunity to just, you know, maybe crack on about some stuff that I, hopefully I'll be doing with this and Gary. So what it is, I, I went down to Gary's before to pick this up and what have you. Oh, that looks nice. Right, so I went down to Gary's before to pick this up. So we were having a little natter about some things and whatnot. So between me and Gary, we've got a few decent cameras, you see. So I'm going to start doing some more comparative stuff or comparison stuff as well with, with these cameras. So hopefully the ZV1 will be banging around. This will be banging around the Gazers. And uh, hopefully I'll help Gazza do some stuff for his channel as well. In fact, actually, yeah, while, while I'm talking, Defo go and visit Gary's channel as well because he's done some fantastic stuff with uh, my Osmo Pocket when he went to Japan and he's done he's used it in a few places and he's done some stuff as well with the Osmo Action. So Defo go and check out Gazza's uh, channel. Okay, so first thing here, I'm assuming, oh, is that two bits? I would I'd say, well, let me get all these bits out first. So there's that, there's that, and there's that. <laughs> Gary be watching this go, you best add and break my camera. <laughs> right now, what's in this box here? 
Yeah, what I'm gonna do, I think I'll get all the bits out first, get them all on the, the table here, and then we'll have a little blast through it. Okay, so there's a USB cable and stuff. Unfortunately, do you know what? I was hoping that there'd be a, a, a mic, you know, a mic adapter in this, but I don't think that there is. Um, we were trying to look for a mic adapter before, but the only mic adapters we could find were on eBay, and um, they were coming from China and stuff. So yeah, that's a bit of a pain. Unless, no, unfortunately, none of these are mic adapters either. Okay, so, let me just get these boxes and things out of the way. Now this camera's on the wireless that it can be at the moment, so we'll just have to live with that. So, there we go. As Bandrew would say, another damn sticker. Well done. Um, there's a little Insta360 one uh, guide thing. Get that out the way. Now there's some of the bits of paperwork there. There'll be contact sheets and little like run-throughs of what's in the box and what have you. And there's a nice little microfiber cloth and stuff. Okay, some silica gel. Don't forget, these are not sweets. Don't eat them. Um, that was a package of something. Oh yeah, that was for the cable and whatnot. So there we go, USB-C cable. So that's obviously going to be for charging and for data transfer and stuff. Get rid of that there. Now, there's obviously a quarter 20 GoPro type, you know, adapter mount and whatnot. And then there's the thing there for the GoPro end. So that end there is going to be a quarter 20 two GoPro adapter thing, which let's have a look. Um, oh, okay, yeah, so you, you was that on the bottom there of the actual little cage thing, then that gives you quarter 20. So you can go straight on today with other GoPro things, but then that will take it GoPro to quarter 20, which is pretty neat because anything that I do with this will be going on to quarter 20 stuff. I'll get them out of the way just for now, and then I'll kind of pop them in other stuff when I've put them together. And then that there, I'm assuming, is the lens protector for the 360 module there. Now, let's see, do I... Oh, do you know what? Gary has said I can use it before I give it back to him. So I was about to say, should I pull all the bits off? But I'll have to, because uh, I'm going to be using it anyway. And also, I'll, I will need to put it together now as well. Okay, so let me take all these bits off. Right. And then, actually, let me just get that out of the way. So that's just the protector. Um, I'm assuming it's only for this one, which is the 360 module, the two lens system. Hold on, let me get that off there. Okay, so that's the little 360 module. That's the battery there, okay. And then this here, this is obviously the brains bit, and then this is the normal 4K module. So this isn't the one inch variation or nothing. Now, these come apart, oh, that's cool, right. Right, what it was, because I've never used one before, <laughs> I was flapping just then. I thought, am I going to snap this off? Trelly won't be happy. Right, all it is, look at that. Right, so let me just pop that in. Right, this is cool. Right, so if you have a look underneath here, I'm assuming you've got, like, these female variants here of that socket. Now, from what I can see, they are the exact same socket just doubled up. And the reason why that is, is because obviously you can orientate the camera backwards and forwards there. So when it's when you want to face it one way, because in fact, there's the screen there. So let's just assume that that was the back. Then you would want the camera facing forward that way. So you would put it on that way. And then if you wanted it in selfie mode where the screen would be facing forward. You want the camera forward with that. So that's actually quite clever. In fact, you know what? If you think about it, it's it's a really simple design, but I think the implementation's great. So two identical fem female sockets there, and then the male socket just lines up with either one of them, dependent upon the orientation. Oh, here's another thing. There's another reason why there's two of them. Right, everything, ignore everything that I've just said, because although it definitely works to reorientate that different ways around, the reason why there's two of them <laughs> is because there's two lenses on that module. <laughs> what an idiot. Okay, so let me just slap that on. And then, of course, when this module's on, it's, I don't think you can really get this the wrong way. Oh, can you? Oh, yeah, that'll only go in one way, obviously. Yeah, there we go. So that's the right way there. Now, strangely, that will accept going in that way. Yeah, you can actually put it in that way, but surely that won't go in the case. 
Oh, sorry, the battery won't go in. No, it won't. Okay, well, there's a bit of a... Is, there, is it me or is that just a bit of a, a you know, a, a bit, bit of an issue? You can actually put that on the wrong way round. So that is, this way is the right way. Let me just pop it on here. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. There's a clip there. Yeah, clip there. <laughs> so pop that in there. Hold on. Right, just bear with me a second because this isn't as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> right, let me just get this on here first. In fact, I'm assuming this probably just clicks in to go on. Let's see. Sort of. Hmm. I'm not. I'm not entirely convinced that this is a good thing. Hmm. I mean, it might just be me making a meal out of this, but. Let me just mm, give us a second. All right, so I know that looked like I was just making a meal out of something, but I got really confused because what it was, I was actually doing it right. It just to me doesn't feel right though. What happens is you obviously just push this onto the bottom and there's no weird thing. You don't have to kind of pull the release clip back or anything. You literally just put it on and squeeze it on like that. So I had put it on correct in the first instance but if you can have a look there look at that gap between those two modules and the battery now that gap i what it was i was looking at it and i was thinking that can't be right can it because isn't this meant to be waterproof or something but as we can see it is on it's not like you can press it in even further so that's actually on properly but there appears to be a gap there and i know this is correct because watch if i just use the release clip there and it'll come straight off again. So yeah, that's fine. And what it is, I've just tried the other module with it and it's fine with that. And then if I put it back on again, hold on. So again, just give it a little push and then it's on. So that's all on, you can see it's not moving. And then we can put it in this little case thing here or this skeletal case. Now I'm gonna hazard the guess that in all fairness, you definitely have to use that skeletal case. I mean, if you can see there, you can see light through that, you know, through the seam there where all the bits join. Right, maybe somebody else can leave us a comment if they've got one of these and can tell me that that definitely is waterproof or whatever. Because this, from what I understand, this is meant to be at least like rain and stuff, but. From what I understood, I thought that this was proper waterproof. You could put it in so much depth of water. Maybe you can't, and maybe that's the reason why I'm getting a bit weirded and flipped out. But there we go. We can see every now and then. There's a little bit there. Anyway, ignore me. Just give us a sec. All right, listen, I just can't let this one go. So I've had to have a good look at this now. What it is, I've just realized, when you look underneath here, there's actually only one part of it which you have to worry about as far as water is concerned. And it's literally the battery connections here. So what happens when that turns over and locks in, this piece here, so that's the male piece as we can see. So that's the male battery part. And then that's the female receptor for the battery there. What it is all around there is a, is a rubber seal. So basically that's like an O-ring type affair or whatnot. So that is the only part that you'd have to worry about obviously for water. So once it's all in like that, those connectors are all solid. Uh, when I say solid, they're all surrounded by solid rubber. So when I was looking through there and I could see daylight and stuff, I'm thinking, hold on, water's getting in there, which it obviously is. But again, when we look here, all this stuff here, these are just holes and notches and stuff for the grip system. They are nothing electrical. So yeah, that's what flipped me out was just that bit there is the only thing that needs protection and it is protected by this rubber seal, which all kind of closes over once it's in there. Okay, got that out the way with. 
Okay, so that was obviously my version of doing an unboxing for the Insta360 One R Twin Edition. So from here on in, what I'm gonna do is when I can get all the gas after he's had a good play with this himself, and once he's kind of like familiarized himself with a few things to do with it, we'll start doing some of these little like comparison things, say this against the Hero 8, this against the ZV1, maybe some of the DJI stuff if I haven't like got, you know, got shut of like the pocket and the action by the time we get around to doing the stuff with this and also as well if Gary does stuff like this or does stuff with this on his channel I'll do a quick video on my channel just to let people know so that they can go and check out Gary's stuff but go and check his channel anyway he's done some really cool examples of using certain cameras and all that stuff and he's got some really dead cool footage of Tokyo and things like that really ace anyways I think I'm gonna have to get off now and practice putting this together properly I'm David Harry Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.